Oh, what happened, little kitty? Oh, goodness me, I think you got ulcers. We need to quickly rush you to the vet. No, what? Well, by the time we reach the hospital, let me share with you and our audience about a simple kind of infection found in humans called hand, foot and mouth disease. So let's zoom in. So what is hand, foot and mouth disease? First and foremost, it's vital to know that it is a different condition than the foot and mouth or hoof and mouth disease found in animals. So, let's make sure that we do not mix it up. The one affecting humans is called hand, foot and mouth disease, which is a common infection generally found in kids under 5 years old. In this condition, the infected kid develops painful sores called ulcers inside or around the mouth and throat and on the hands, feet and diaper region caused by a virus called Coxsackie virus A16. These viruses are a member of a family of viruses called enteroviruses that live in the human digestive tract. But once they get out of the system, they are very contagious, especially in children, as they have weak immune systems to fight it. They can be passed from person to person on unwashed hands and surfaces contaminated by poop. They can also spread through droplets of fluid spewed into the air when someone sneezes or coughs. And once it gets the new host, the infected person might start to show symptoms like fever, muscle aches, loss of appetite, fatigue, etc. And in a couple of days, pink rashes begin to appear on different parts of the body that can turn into blisters filled with fluid. These boils often peel off, leaving an ulcer, a sore with a reddish base. If this happens, children with blisters on their hands or feet should keep the areas clean and uncovered. Also, make sure to wash the skin with lukewarm soapy water and gently dry it with clean clothes. And if a blister bursts, apply a bit of antibiotic ointment to help prevent infection and cover it with a small bandage. And most importantly, drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. However, to avoid hot drinks, sodas and acidic food as they can make the pain worse. But remember my friends, as it is a contagious disease, do make sure to isolate yourself for a few days and maintain social distancing. Also, do not share your toys, clothes, comb and other accessories with others to prevent the virus from spreading to others. And if you have a really small child undergoing this condition, avoid kissing and hugging them until the symptoms go away. Fortunately, HFM disease is not a condition to worry about and goes away on its own in a few days. But in some cases, it can cause a serious infection that makes us unable to eat and drink. Hence, it is vital to visit your doctor ASAP in case you see any of the mentioned symptoms or your condition isn't improving. Trivia time! Did you know that Coxsackie virus got its name because it was first found in the town of Coxsackie? located south of Albany in New York. Yes, they were discovered in 1948 and 1949 by a scientist named Gilbert Daloff. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.
Oh, look. Never mind.